Okay, good morning. Welcome to Math Ideas number... 33! 33! And today we're going to learn about Fibonacci numbers. Have you ever heard about Fibonacci numbers before? Yeah, I have. You have? What do you know about them? Well, the Fibonacci and the numbers. <laughs> the Fibonacci and their numbers. That's right. Okay, so here, here's how the Fibonacci numbers are defined. You start with 0, and then 1. And the next number you get by summing up the previous two. So you add them together. So 0 plus 1 is? 1. 1. Okay. Now the next number, the, the previous two numbers, are 1 and 1. So 1 plus 1 is? 2. Now the next number is the sum of these two. Well, 2 plus 1. 2 plus 1 is? 3. I think I heard my... Because 2 plus 1 is? 3. Okay, so what's the next number here? Five. Five, because it's three plus two. And what's the next number? Eight. Eight. Ooh. Whoa. Okay, so let's let's go down here now. What what's the next number? How do you figure it out? It's the sum of the previous two. So what is what are the previous two numbers? Thirteen. Eight, eight, 8 and 5, and 8 plus 5 is 13. Okay, the next one is? 8 plus 13. 8 plus 13. Ooh, what is 8 plus 13? Well, you know, 8 plus 3 is 11. Yeah. And we add on 10, which is 21. 21. Very good, Owen. Very good. All right, let's do one more. 13 plus 21. Whoa! Is? How do you do 13 plus 21? We go 10 plus 3 and 20 plus 1. Okay, 10 plus 3 and 20 plus 1. I see what you're doing. Okay, so you have to add 10 plus 20. 10 plus 20 is? It's 30. 3 plus 1 is? 4. So it's? 34. 34, very good. Okay. Now, and so, and then this keeps on going. You know how long it goes until it stops? No. Never stops. It just keeps going forever. The next number is 55. 21 plus 34 is 55. And what's the next number? 34 plus 55, which is 89. Whoa! Then 55 plus 89, which is 144. Whoa! Then it keeps going forever and ever and ever. Now, you want to see the way math people write down this? Yeah. This series? Yeah. Okay. They say, here's our formula. They say, f sub 0 is 0, f sub 1 is 1, and f sub n plus 1 equals f sub n plus f sub n minus 1. Now that looks pretty, pretty complicated, doesn't it? Lots of f's and n's. Yeah. But let's see if we can figure out what this means. What happened? You have a little green marker on your shirt? Yeah. Here, give me the marker. Wait, you just get out of your shirt. You got it all over yourself. Where's this cap? Oh, good one. Okay. So f sub 0 is 0, means you just start at 0. f sub 1 is 1, means this, this number is 1. So we start f sub 0 is 0, f sub 1 is 1. And f sub 2, if this is 2, then this says f2 equals f1 plus f0. Okay? f2 is f1 plus f0. So what is f1 plus f0? 1 plus 0 is? <laughs> and it says f3, stay here, if n plus 1 is 3, if n plus 1 is 3, what is n? If n plus 1 equals 3, n equals 2. 2, right? So this says f3 is f2 plus f1. f3 is f2, which is 1, plus f1, which is 1. So f3 is 1 plus 1, which is? 2. 2, very good. What is, can you tell me what f4 is supposed to equal? 
f4 equals f4 equals f3 plus f2. F4 equals F3 plus F2. F3 is 2. F2 is 1. So Fibonacci, the fourth Fibonacci number is 2 plus 1, which is 3. three. Okay. Think we can do one more? Mm, no. No, I think we should. Just one more. F5. Okay. F5 is equal to F4 plus F3. Which is 5. Which is 3 plus 2, which is 5. five. Okay, look at that. F5 is equal to 5. Do you think that's true? Do you think F6 is equal to 6? No. Because what is F6 equal to? See if you can tell me. Eight. It's equal to F5 plus F4, which is 5 plus 3, which is? 8. 8. And 8 is really? Great! Yay! Okay, so you learned about the Fibonacci numbers. Ooh. Is that fun? Yep. What are you doing? Is your belt bothering you? No. No? Okay, so the Fibonacci numbers are just a sequence of numbers, and you get the next number by adding up the previous two numbers. Cool! Wow. How fun is that? I wonder what happens if we started with something else other than 0 and 1. Mm, you know what? That's actually what your problem's going to be about. Whoa! <laughs> Don't fall backwards! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Alright, good job today, sweetie. <laughs>